shape bags. And these, yeah, these machines all used to come from Japan. That's where the shaved ice was started. And when they brought the machines here, it was a totally different machine. As a matter of fact, they, it was just open, and they had like a screw that would actually move the ice down. It would turn it. There's a razor blade on there, and it has a turn for shaving the ice. Mm -hmm. These are the modern ones. Yeah, my daughter was reminiscing the other day. Yeah, I think she knows you or your mom. She said last time she'd come over here and she'd call ahead and I think of either you or your mom and she'd tell her, I don't have any eyes, can you bring me some? Okay. So she'd bring a, a chunks of ice for her uh, to make snow cones. That's what it was. I was talking to my daughter. We were going over and over about the about the store. Because uh -huh. when they were little kids, I used to bring motor. Mm -hmm. Now, didn't you say they have a special recipe? They make their their flavors a certain way. Yeah, they make their own. That you make your. I don't want to give her recipe away, but she. You were saying that it was made out of sugar cane. The flavors that you make by hand are made out of sugar cane. Are they made? It's sugar cane. I mean, oh, okay. No, that's that's what I mean. Sugar cane, sugar, right? Not right. That. There's a difference. She has this old, look at this. Yeah, this is, you tell everybody that's the old Coca-Cola box. <laughs> I remember those. We used to have one that used to have water in it, not the uh, cold. Uh-huh. Because the ones with the water seem to make the soda state better, don't ask me why. I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, it is very fluffy. I mean, it's light. The it's... Nose, the taste. Mm -hmm. No, it's very good. We used to sell the colors of my dad's store. You know, the ones for, uh, for changing the, the color for the different, uh, the different ones, the different flavors. My dad used to sell them. And your grandpa and your mom used to sit there buying from us years back. So I know it's a family secret, but the basis on this is what sells it. And let me tell you, nobody makes it as good as you. I don't know what they say. Thank you. And, and if you ask my daughter, and if you tell her that somebody makes it different, you gotta get a plate in your hands. <laughs> In 1915, well, 1915 is when we started. But what brought your great-grandparents? Your great-grandparents. Okay, your grandparents. What brought them here? I guess for like a better life, maybe. I, I really don't know. So they came from Japan? Yes. Here. Oh. Now, were they displaced when
Yes. They went to. They were able to rent this building out to a Chinese family, and so when they returned, they were able to get it back, which was really nice. So they were in the concentration camp in Independence. Had been there so many times. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, it is very fluffy. I mean, it's light. The ghost it's, taste. Mm -hmm. No, it's very good. Mm -hmm. she, you, don't, you don't use cane sugar, you don't use uh, uh, corn syrup, you use sugar syrup. Right? That's a family secret. What? That is a family secret. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't say how I make it and I don't no, give up recipe. I don't just say the base. I know, what, I know what goes into it because I used to watch when you're... Uh, your mom and your grandma used to make it, yep, and, my, and they used to buy a lot of the, uh, the syrups. The uh, not the syrups, but the uh, uh, what do they call the colors. We used to sell the colors at my dad's store. You know, the ones for, uh, for changing the, the color for the different uh, the different ones, the different flavors. My dad used to sell them. And your grandpa and your mom used to sit there buying from us years back, so I know it's a family secret, but the basis on this is what sells it. And let me tell you, nobody makes it as good as you. I don't know what they say. Thank you. And, and if you ask my daughter and you tell her that somebody makes it different, you've got to get a fight in your hands. <laughs> So, in 1915, well, 1915 is when we started. But what brought your great grandparents? My grandparents. Okay, your grandparents. What brought them here? I guess for like a better life, maybe. I, I really don't know. So they came from Japan? Yes. Here. Uh -huh. Now, were they displaced when they had that? World yes. Too? To, they were able to rent this building out to a Chinese family, and so when they returned, they were able to get it back, which was really nice. So they were in the concentration camp in Independence. Had been there so many times, so sad. Just, I don't know why we do this to our people. It's crazy. Street is uh, uh, where we were staying. 
That's it? So, uh, I'm gone for a while. 